Hello everyone, this video is my Outlast Whistleblower All Collectibles Guide. This video is aimed at helping you get the Legacy Achievement or Trophy and the Archivist Achievement or Trophy, which is collect all documents and collect all recordings in the Whistleblower DLC. If you're looking for guides for anything else Outlast related, I've got a bunch of guides for the difficult achievements for Outlast. Feel free to check those out if that's something you're looking for. Thank you all very much for tuning into the video. Let's get this going. Okay. So first collectible, you get just as you grab the camera in the cell. There's a little scene before you reach this part in the game, but there are no collectibles during that section. And pretty much you just need to record straight ahead of you when you pick up the camera. And you'll get that note. And here it is, if you want to take a little look at these, you'll have to pause up the video. I'll show them for a couple of seconds, just in case. So, when you reach this area, just after you have a conversation with some inmates, you'll have to run away from this guy that stands up quickly through this door all the way around here, past this guy beating on another inmate, and then you need to hop up on the desk and into the vent here. And once you reach the vent, look down into the opening that's on your left, and watch these guys have their conversation, and you'll get your second note, which is a radio in the prism. And if you want to have a little look at that, there you go. So next up, when you come into this room and you have to press this button, this doctor will get beaten on by the inmate and just record that as it's going on for your third note which is the doctors are sick just keep the camera on the action and eventually you'll get that note there we go all right and that's note number three so the first document of whistleblower you will get after you use the decontamination area that you just pressed the button for Follow this guy as he's running away. You can't go through the door he goes through, but if you go to the right and then spin it around here, you can find the first document, which is the resignation of Whalen Park, which is us. Again, pause it up if you want to have a little read of these documents and notes. So next up, we have a note in the cannibal's kitchen, and you'll get this one as you come into the kitchen and you first meet the cannibal. You'll have to squeeze through the desk seal and just keep the camera on the cannibal. Eventually, you'll get the note. There you go. And there's the note. Four notes already. Moving on to document number two, then. So, in this area where you grab the key for the handcuffs that are locked to the door, before you leave and head through the door that guy just broke through, the document is just on the right, pretty much the opposite side of the door you've got to go through which is Gender Selection in Mount Massive Contractors. Document number two. Okay, so next up we have another document, and you can get this one just after you break out of the furnace that the cannibal throws you into. So head to your right as you break out of the furnace and come through the door here, and you'll come into this chapel-type area behind the desk or the altar, the back of this room you can find document number three, which is God and Family. And there you go. All right, so note number five can be found after you escape from the cannibal. You'll come down this corridor when you're running away from him and need to squeeze through the shelves here. And then if you come into the room on your left and go into the bathroom that you'll have to turn left to get into, open up the cubicle here, and this guy is giving the doctor a swirly, I guess. <laughs> and that's the note varying effects. So just after that for document number four, turn around from where you got that note, come out of this door and head through the open plastic, spin around here. And this is the way you've got to go along the main storyline. But uh, in this room, you can find the document. You need to go left there to continue, but coming in this room will get you the document, which is lesser known ecological aspects of humanity. So document number five then, as you're escaping from the cannibal and you fall through the vent, you'll come through here and need to squeeze through the wall right here. Come through the door and then through this door and you can find this document in the next area when you come in here. Trying to show a little bit more of the area so you can find these collectibles easily. That's the Project War Rider Patient Status Report for Frank Monero. Again, pause it up if you want to have a bit of a read. 
So next up, we've got note number six, and this is after you escape from the cannibal and get outside. When you come down all of these stairs, you'll need to continue on to c uh, continue along the main path. But if you head to your right and through this gate, look up at this window, and you can see the cannibal. Just make sure you've got the camera on him to get that note. So note number seven then, this is what the game is. You have to come down this way to activate the next area. If you look to your right and through the fence here, you can see this guy playing basketball by himself with a decapitated head, which is lovely. Get the camera on him. And that's your next note. This is what the game is. Let's have a little look at that one then. I don't think I took a look at the previous note, so I'm sorry about that, but at least you saw how to get it. All right, here we go, note number seven, sorted. Okay, so a little bit further on when you run past the guys on the basketball court, you'll have to squeeze past a couple of guys and up this ladder. And once you've reached the top, you'll need to run around this building and hop through the fence here. Turn to your right and go through this door and the document is just on the table in this room. You don't usually come in here to continue along the main path, but the document is in that building. All right. Note number eight then, I think now. Called down, down, down. Keep your camera on the vicar here who's painted in blood on the wall. Eventually, you'll get the note. And there we go. All right. Pause that up if you want to have a little read. So, document number seven now. When you come down here, you'll need to burst open this door. And on your right, on the desk, you can find the document. You don't have to come in here to continue along the main path, but there is a document in here. This is literally just after we got that last note. Pretty much drop down the hole and go straight forward. So, when you escape Chris, you'll jump through this window and end up outside. And when you do that, you'll drop down here. And... Uh, I accidentally grabbed the ledge here, but you want to turn around and jump through this window and you can find the document called The Groom right here. Okay. Right, so when you're messing around with the power, or just before you do, you can find this building straight ahead of you. The document is just on the stairs in this area. This is just before you pull the switch to turn off the power to run through the gate in this area. And this is the switch I was talking about. So when you pull the switch, you'll head back towards where you came from and one of the inmates is going to pull the switch again. So you're going to have to go back down there. Before you do that, boy, come up here. You do have to do this anyway to get this whole sequence to work, but point the camera up at the electrical wiring above the building and then wait and eventually you'll get the note so yeah you want to pull the switch come up here and get the recording and then go down and pull the switch again so when you squeeze through the gate here a body's going to drop in front of you giving you a bit of a jump scare keep the camera on the body and you'll get the next note which is an easy way out sorted so just before you get to the groom, you'll reach a point where you see this body hanging in this area. Just keep the camera on the guy hanging and you'll get the note. That's a difficult one to miss. Again, before you reach the groom, you'll be coming through this area. And to continue here, you need to push this box out of the way. In the back right corner, you can find the document right here. This is the box you've got to push out of the way. You do need to do that to continue along the main path. Again, just trying to show some key areas so that these are difficult to miss you kind of know where i am sorted so we're going to record another note here this is just before you interact with the groom for the first time and again this one's kind of hard to miss because it's a really gruesome scene that i think everybody remembers but just keep the camera on that gruesome scene on the table there and you'll get the note what fresh hell okay so after you've gone through the scenario with the groom and he has you in the locker, as soon as you grab your camera, record the table with the saw blade in it, and that'll get you note number 13, which is an unwilling bride. That's a really difficult one to miss. So we got a document here. 
Document number 11, Project Wall Rider Patient Status Report for Eddie Gluskin. So when you jump through the window to avoid the groom, head to the right of this area and the document is just on the floor by the bench heel. There we go. Sorted. Only a few more to get now then. There are 31 collectibles in total in this DLC. So once you reach the room where the groom has hung all of the bodies on the ceiling, point the camera at the bodies to get note number 14, which is Bluebeard's Wives. Sorted. Alright. So once you've dealt with the chase with Eddie, he's going to get strung up in the ceiling. And once you gain control again, you just need to point the camera at him to get note number 15, which is a widower. So get that camera on him. And there we go. It's note number 15. Okay. So note number 16 then. Once you're making your escape and you come to this area, you can see the church burning in the distance. Just point the camera at the church through the window and you'll get a burning church, which is note number 16. So note number 17 then is these SWAT guys that you can hear talking as you approach this area. You need to turn right to continue there. But these guys are all examining Traeger, and you just want to keep the camera pointed at them to get note number 17, serve and protect. Okay, so document number 12 now. This is along the main path. You'll see this room on your right, and the document is just on the desk right here. Beyond hope. So one more note and one more document, and we're all done here. Sorted. So this is pretty much the final corridor you'll run down before you escape document number 13 three blind dreamers it's on yeah, in one of the rooms on your right and that'll be all of the documents in the wall rider dlc and finally just before you escape you'll see jeremy blair hanging out by the doorway before you approach him just keep the camera on him for a few seconds to get your final note and uh, that's note number 18 and that'll get you all of the collectibles in Whistleblower, all of the documents and all of the recordings. So I hope some of you have found this useful. I'll try my best to link around some more of my Outlast content if you're looking for collectibles for the game or guides towards any of the achievements. I've pretty much done guides for all of the difficult achievements for Outlast. Let me know in the comment section if this helped you out and uh, yeah, maybe check out some of my other content. If you want to support me a bit further, you can always throw me a follow on Twitch. That also really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, take it easy.